North Korea launched missile that flew over Japan. North Korea has fired a missile over Japan which Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has called the most serious and grave ever threat to the country. The missile was fired just before 6 a.m. in Japan. The launch set off warnings in the northern part of the country urging people to seek shelter. It flew over Eromomazaki, on the northern island of Hokkaido, and broke into three pieces before falling into the Pacific Ocean, about 1,180 kilometers, 733 miles, off the Japanese coast. The missile was in flight for about 14 minutes, Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshiad Sugar said at an emergency press conference. There is no immediate report of the fallen objects and no damage to the ships and aircraft, he added. Abe told reporters he had a 40-minute phone call with U.S. President Donald Trump to discuss the missile launch. The two countries have requested an urgent meeting of the United Nations Security Council, according to Japan's ambassador to the UN, Koro Besho. The international community has to put more pressure on North Korea, Ambassador Besho said. The missile was launched near the North Korean capital of Pyongyang, which is rare. CNN's Will Ripley, who was on the ground in Pyongyang, said the news had not been broadcast to people inside North Korea as of 9.45 a.m. local time. First time since 1998. Though North Korea has been on a tear when it comes to testing missiles this year Tuesday's test was the 14th since February the launch was the first time North Korea has successfully fired a missile over Japan since 1998. Then, it sent a satellite launch vehicle over the country. The only other time is a failed 2009 launch of a missile which landed in the Pacific. Analysts believe Tuesday's launch shows a new level of confidence from the North Koreans. It is a big deal that they overflew Japan, which they have carefully avoided doing for a number of years, even though it forced them to test missiles on highly lofted trajectories, and forced them to launch their satellites to the south. Which is less efficient than launching to the east, due to the Earth's rotational motion, comma said David Wright, co-director of the Global Security Program at the Union of Concerned Scientists. This will make it more difficult for the US to get Japanese support for diplomacy, unfortunately, at exactly the time when the situation is heating up. US Senator Lindsey Graham quickly weighed in on Twitter, calling the launch a big-time escalation of conflict. Trump admin must forcefully respond to convince N Korea their efforts to destabilize the region and world will not be allowed to mature he said.